Good morning, Internet. This is Alex de Sudokus, and it is Thursday the 8th of October 2020, and we have another hard New York Times Sudoku for us today. So let's jump right in. I'm going to try to use the new keyboard shortcut of just using the space bar to switch between normal and candidate mode, because it turns out you can do that. So uh, I can see a pair of ones there because of these two ones. And got a checkerboard pattern here, so they're always good to look at. Um, it gives me a pair of nines there. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Oh, doesn't give me that much more actually. So let's focus on the other numbers. I've got twos there um, because of these twos. And let's see, twos, I've got another pair of twos there because of that two and that two. So let's move on to threes. Uh, I've got three over here because of these two threes and that three over there. So now that forms a pair of threes up here. And, pardon me. Um, I think that's it. So what about fours? Oh, I got a four over here because of this four and these two fours. So these two fours now locks a four over in here. So let's see, does that give me any more things in this cage? I've got a pair of ones over there. Um, and there's twos and sixes left and I can't, no, I can't do anything with that. So let's go back to the fours. Fours. I uh, got a pair of fours here because of this four and that four. So another pair of fours here because of this four, the point of pair of fours and that four. And another pair of fours here because of this four and that four. Um, I think that's it. So what about fives? Well, I've got a pair of fives here because of this five. That further locks a pair of fives over there. And let's see. I think that's it for the fives, but I've got a pair of sixes here because of this six and that six. And in fact, six is also locked in here because of that six and that six. So this pointed pair of sixes doesn't lock anything else for us, but I do have a pair of sixes up here because of these two sixes and that six. So uh, I think that's all the sixes I can pencil mark in. So what about sevens? Sevens are not particularly useful by the look of it. No. So what about eights? Eights are locked in here because of this eight and that eight. Eight. I've only got two eights, so let's move on to nines. Well, that has got to be a nine because of the point of pair of nines. So you should have seen that earlier. Um, oh, I think that may be it. Yep, that's all I can do with the nines. So that means I've got a triple here of ones, twos, and seven in here. And I'm just going to blow my nose quickly. <sighs> Sorry about that. It wouldn't be a Alex the Sudoku's without me blowing my nose at some point. And this seven helps me pin the pair of sevens up there because of these two sevens. And also in this direction, I've got a pair of sevens over there. So uh, this leaves me with five, six, and eight. Might as well pencil mark them in because it's a triple. So um, does that help me in any way? don't think so, but have I got anything interesting going on up here? Um, two and four. So one, two, can't see a three. Okay, so that's at least a three and four, so that's not useful. Um, does this do anything for us? Because um, I've got, I've only got four and six. So there are no pointed pairs looking into these cells, got nines, eights, nope, 
doesn't really do much for us. So, uh, have we got any weak areas we can attack? Doesn't look like it. We've got a quadruple here, which is one, five, six, and eight. And I've got one, five, and eight over there, so that has to be a six then, surely. And if that's a six, I've got six, one, and three resolved over here. And let's see, that locks a pair of ones over here because this one, which further locks a pair of ones over here. So that can't be a seven anymore. Resolving the seven, which locks a pair of sevens up there and the sevens down here. Does that help me further? Not really. So let's rewind back. One. What about a three? Um, can't see anything with the three. So what about a six? Six. Nope, can't see anything with the six either. So, that's not bad. Uh, in fact, I've got a pair of sevens and eights up here. But that can't be an eight. So this has to be seven and eight. And now that leaves me twos and nines. Okay, twos and nines in these two cells. So this now has to be a five. No, it has to be an eight. Which is the only number left on the column. And this is a two. Okay, so does that help us? That locks a pair of twos over there. The eight unlocks the eight over here. Leaving me with five and six, and but it also locks an eight over here because this has to be four or six. So if that's an eight, it means I've got a pair of eights over there. And oh, I also have an eight over here because of these two eights. So this has this has to be an eight as well. So actually, this eight and seven are resolvable, which leaves a nine in this cell so if that's a nine then i've got a pair of nines over here and that's it um so that's quite promising so far uh what else have i got i've got a pair of ones so one sees into that cell so ones and five i guess yep five over there so this one this one locks a pair of ones over here because of this one and the fact that these are fours and sixes uh, matching pairs. So that pair of ones as a pointed pair resolves the two and one over here as well. And this two resolves the two and four over here. And that four resolves the six and four over here. And that six resolves the five and six over there, leaving me with a single number, which is a three up here. The three unlocks a three over there. And a pair of threes over here, and a pair of threes over there as well. Okay, so, got some rewinding to do, but I can already see something is not right on this row. Yes, the seven uh, resolves the seven over here, which further locks a pair of sevens up here. Okay, and the other pair of sevens are down here. Um, this is nine and five i can't resolve either so these must be nines and fives in this cage uh which can't be right because ah there's a five there so actually this has to be a nine and that has to be a five which means that's a nine and also this has to be a two and nine that two surprisingly it doesn't give us a resolution but the nine locks another nine over here which resolves the nine here and that's all the nines so now these are sevens and fours can't resolve them just yet I've got one and five here no nope, five can't go there so one and five are resolvable so that resolves the one and two which resolves the six in this cell and that six locks a six over here and resolving the four and the four resolves the seven and four up here and the seven 
resolves the 7, 3 and 2 down here, which gives us a 5. And the 5 resolves the 1 and 5 over here, and that 1 resolves the 1 and 3. And finally, I have a 5, and that's today's hard New York Times Sudoku. One minute to spare before the 10 minutes mark, so um, that was that. So, um, hope that's useful. If it was, please leave a like and subscribe, and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye!